Hello my friends, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and today my friends we are back on YouTube and what I'm trying to do today is I'm trying to hook up my PlayStation 5 um, to a hardwired internet connection. The problem I've got is I can't run uh, a cable directly from my router, well I could but I'd have to drill a lot of holes in the wall, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is use power line adapter, and which is what I did with my PC, and it's worked really well. So I've got a power line adapter in this room at the minute that feeds my PC with a hardwired internet connection, and like I say, that's worked really well. Um, my ultimate aim is to have the PlayStation 5 set up with a hardwired internet connection, hopefully, so as it stabilises... Um, my Chiaki connection on the Steam Deck. So what I've been trying to do is mirror my PlayStation 5 to my Steam Deck to allow myself to play PlayStation 5 outside of this room and uh, sort of on the couch or in bed. So that's the ultimate aim. So I'm hopefully hopeful that it's going to work and it might answer some of your questions out there of how to uh, potentially get a better connection to your PlayStation 5 where it's not near a router and it's uh, harder to to get it hardwired in. So, what have we got? Well, I ordered one of these from uh, from Amazon. Um, and this is the TP-Link pass-through power line starter kit. So pass-through, i.e. you've got a plug on the uh, power line adapter which means you don't lose a plug which is really important for me you know, it costs a bit more but it's well worth it because then you don't end up sacrificing a plug when plugs are um, very valuable especially in this household so this one um, is the TLPA 7017P kit which is as I say, the same as the one I've got downstairs and in here. So that there's a plug downstairs that's connected directly to the router and plugged in downstairs. And then the so obviously the the point of the power line is that you connect another plug on the same electrical circuit elsewhere in the house that enables you to then hardwire in your internet connection and the 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 actual uh, internet connection is traveling along the uh, power lines so that's the kind of theory like I say it's worked pretty well for the PC so far so um, we'll see how it goes so that gives me with this starter kit you get two plugs in there so essentially I only need one for what I'm doing today because that's just connecting up the PlayStation 5 so um, I couldn't really see that they sell individual ones, a bit cheeky really, but they only seem to sell the double packs. But again, that would be quite handy for when I want to hardwire something else in, which I'm sure I'll get around to needing to do. So let's open her up and see what we get in the box. <clears throat> so, what do we got? Let's put the box over there. So quick installation guide, standard, <clears throat> first plug, so this is the one that I'll plug in up here and obviously I can plug in my existing plug that I'm using through this so as I don't lose a plug socket as explained before and again you get an extra one as well so downstairs there's one of these plugged in like I say downstairs and connected directly to the router via the bottom ethernet port and then what you do is you kind of press this little button on the bottom and then that starts flashing as long as you press it for a couple of seconds that'll start flashing and then you plug in the one upstairs or wherever you want it to be and you press the pair button again for another couple of seconds and when it pairs these three lights will come on both of the um, uh, both of the adapters to confirm that you've got a power line circuit set up and like a hardwire um, connection available. So that's the theory again. Hopefully it works as easy as what I remember from last time. You get given a couple of um, 
Ethernet cables, which is handy if you're close to where you want to make the connection. The thing with mine is the plugs down here and the PlayStation 5 is over there, so it's probably going to need something longer. So I've just bought this off of Amazon. It's a 5 meter Ethernet cable. Very good reviews. I think it's only a fiver or something on those lines. Um, I've read quite a few things around Ethernet cables and the fact is you don't really need uh, to buy the all singing all dancing ones um, in order to get a decent connection according to uh, a fair few experts so I just went with a cheapo one um, if this one isn't that great then I can always switch it out for another one I've got one downstairs that I could disconnect and and use um, so so that's what we're going to do we're going to set it up and uh, what I'm going to try and do is get some footage of me sort of plugging it in and going from there and seeing how easy it is just to add one extra power line adapter to my existing power line setup so without any further ado we'll end this part here we'll take this we'll take this We'll plug it in and get going and we'll see if we can record it. See you in a minute. Okay, so in this instance, I want to join an existing secure power line network, which is what I've got set up at the minute. So I press the pair button on any of the existing power line devices for one second. It's power LED should start blinking. Now if the power LED does not blink, press the pair button again. And then within two minutes, I need to press the pair button on the new power line adapter for one second and its power LED should start blinking. When the power line LED lights up, the power line network has been successfully created. So let's try that, shall we? One, two. That's it. Right, so then I'm going to unplug this. Yep. I'm going to place this in here. Yep. I'm going to pop this back in. Yeah, and I'm going to do a one second or one Mississippi. So that should hopefully create the circuit, which it has. Now, the only reason this hasn't lit up the third light is because I haven't connected the Ethernet cable yet. So let's do that. And when I say connect, I mean this end and the other end to so say let's take the cable and let's plonk it in there which way around is it i think it's going to go that way around i'm doing this a bit blind and i there we go i can feel that it's clicked in right so i'm going to take that cable and i'm going to plug it into the back of the ps5 so let's do that Okay, so now I'm over by the PS5. I've got my cable to plug in. So let's come around the back of it. And then we're just in here. There we go. There we go. So I've got it wall mounted, so it's just easier to add extra cables in. So hopefully, when I go back to the plug, it should enable the third light i suppose once i've turned it on so let's do that okay back at the plug i'm going to fire up the playstation 5 and see what happens like i say there we go it's come on looks like we're connected so the next thing i'll do is i'll do a test to see if it's connected to the network i'm assuming it will be I don't know how you test the speed on a PlayStation 5. I'll probably have to look that up. But that's pretty much how you set up the power line. So let's uh, let's go onwards and see if I can find out how to test the connection to see if I'm gaining anything. It might be a case of me just firing up Chiaki and seeing if it's any better. So maybe I'll do that. Okay, so now we're all connected up. Um, I've had a look on the test internet connection screen. So on the wired, uh, wired LAN, and it's getting connection speed download of 102.3. 
and connection speed upload 5.1. I don't know if that's any better than what I was getting, if I'm honest, but hopefully the proof will be in whether I can um, go on the Chiaki on my Steam Deck uh, with any more success. So we'll see what happens, but um, we'll go from here. Hopefully it's been helpful um, in terms of setting up a an additional TP link, and I'll let you know how I'll get on my Chiaki. Goodbye, my friends. Okay, so I'm back over on the Steam Deck now. So I've got Chiaki for Deck already downloaded and set up. And um, that's a whole process in itself. But um, the aim is to try and connect to the PS5 um, with no stuttering and good sound. So let's see how we go. So you must make sure that both the Steam Deck and the PS5 are on the same network. Now that'll be the, for this power line, um, version of doing it that will be the router network not any secondary networks you may have dotted around the house like we have so just make sure that's the case because i've learned from my mistake if you press play then you go into the state ready menu for the ps5 i've already fired up the ps5 so hopefully we should get a connection straight in Now that's getting connected. Let's see how we fare. So we're going to go and continue the game. You can hear the PS5 firing up in the background. Launching into the game. So my previous... Um, attempts at this without a wired connection have led to very stuttery frame rates, uh, losses in sound, losses in connection. This all looks very good. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Perfect. So I've solved my issue. Hallelujah. Thanks for joining me on my quest. <laughs> I'm going to go and play some Dragon's Dogma 2 on my PlayStation 5 on my Steam Just Deck via Chiaki for Deck. Goodbye, my friends. No